Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So, uh, we're sitting here. It is winter time. Snow did hit us. Uh, there we go. I wanted to get that bottom bar away. Snow did hit us. Uh, so far, it's just a little bit. We don't have a whole lot on the ground yet, so. Uh, whoops, I left this door open up here on the shop. Um. So we're just in the middle of hauling out some grain. We got about, oh, about nine or so loads of corn that uh, are in the bins. And this is our first load. Um, loaded up the truck and then went inside for some lunch. So uh, we got the uh, load star here loaded up, ready to rock and roll. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to haul these in. Um, did some looking into some stuff and uh, found that we only had corn in our bin. Um, everything else had been sold off already, so um, we made a deal. If I hit the right button here, made a deal with uh, the Horizon Co-op. Um, uh, signed a contract to sell all of our corn off to them. So we're going to go ahead and start working on that here right now. Uh, so got a little bit of a trek with our crop here, but um, there's a little bit of snow on the roads and whatnot. But uh, we should be able to manage finding our way just fine uh, up until the highway department decides to get, get in here and uh, get some of these roads cleaned off here. So... So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a little trucking. See if we can't uh, make a little bit of money at least. Get a little something here. Uh, just to have some money to get us through the next season. To be able to uh, afford our seeds and our fertilizer and whatnot. Still got a green field there. See so yeah, what I'm thinking of doing here um, this season. Um, you know, today today we should be able to get uh, these few loads of corn hauled out, and uh, that'll kind of be about our only real work up until spring, when we can get into the fields and get. Uh, Start getting some crop put in and or getting field work done, I guess I should say. Uh, we do have a decent amount of field work to get done. We got to go through and we got to spread some lime over our crops. Um, I was looking at Grandpa's schedules here for this, you know, upcoming year that he had made. And uh, all right, we got to see here where we're going. I know it's right up here somewhere. I believe it's right down here, but I gotta double check. Uh, I think, anyways. So Horizon Co-op is right here. What did I highlight? Tag. So it should give us a... Okay, there we go. So now we got a spot to know where we're going here. We should be good to make it out of here. if we can make it in here. Whoops. Guess I clipped that fence a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up on the scale here and see what we got for a weight. Go ahead and get our tarp opened up. Let's 
So we got 57, 737 as our in weight. And we need to go all the way over here to dump it looks like. Thinking, yeah, right here is where we need to go and dump. So, go ahead and pull on in, and we'll get her unloaded here. First off, let's go ahead and untag this. Snap a screenshot here. So we'll see if we can't make a little bit of money at least off of our grain here. So as I mentioned in our uh, first video, um, talking about putting down a pig and a cow barn. Um, that is something that I would like to try doing eventually. Uh, see about running a cow calf and pig operation. Um, made a pretty good amount off of that one truckload. Made 34,000 off of that. So I mean, if we can get uh, 30,000 a load, we should be sitting good for uh, spring. We should uh, should be able to make it no problem. Hopefully, uh, we do owe the bank a decent amount of money as well. So we gotta see if we can't get some of that paid back. So 24,536, and I say we came in at 57, is it 737, I think. 24, 5, 36, so about 33,201 pounds on that truckload of corn there. farm there right across from the dealership a little yard anyways see so yeah, when I talk about um, I'm just gonna stop here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here when it comes to uh, the cow and the pig barns um, so I was thinking of putting down this cow barn here um, or maybe possibly this one, one of these two. Um, I was kind of thinking more so the big cow barn here. Because um, this one holds 50, I think that'd kind of be suitable operation versus 200. Um, this pig barn here, uh, both of these pig barns each hold 100. So um, could do one of those two barns. And then uh, we'd obviously need to put up another building or two. So. I mean, it'll take a couple hundred thousand dollars to uh, be able to get into that operation. Actually, quite a bit of money. Um, I mean, we do have the uh, tractors for, you know, running our equipment that we would need to purchase to uh, run cattle. I mean, we got tractors to run a, a mower, a baler, all that good stuff. Um, something that we could pull a chopper with. So, I mean, we got the tractors, uh, which... You know, those the tractors are kind of the part that would be the more expensive part of uh, the equipment that we would need for getting into the uh, animal operations. But, uh, you know, I think we could probably, uh, probably get to that here in a year or two. Um, I mean, we'll kind of have to see how next year plays out. Uh, oops, getting off the road a little. 
And we'll kind of have to see how next year plays out, see what we can get off of our fields for crop, and uh, see what kind of prices we can get for everything as well. Uh, I am running with um, periodic plowing on, as well as the lime and the weeds. Um, crop destruction isn't on, just because, um, you know, if we use course play on anything, it's going to be, you know, it, course play doesn't play well with, uh, the crop destruction at times, I've found out, so, just decided, uh, against running that. up under the auger here. There we go. There was still a little bit in the hopper of this auger, so that's just going to come out right away. There we go. Get that guy fired up. Oops. I suppose we should probably get it set up to run in here. Alright. So we got another load of corn getting loaded out um, I did do some moving around I moved the uh, auger and the jump auger over here before winter hit just kind of have them out of our way um, was gonna blow snow but uh, found out that really don't need to um, there really wasn't enough snow here for it to really blow so didn't really need to get that done but uh, we do have the snow blower up in the shop. Um, I did have the auger in this truck in there as well, so that way they're in the heated building uh, versus in our cold storage. Uh, so that way they'd be a little easier to start. I know this truck probably would not uh, feel very inclined to starting uh, sitting in the cold storage. So. So we'll probably haul uh, maybe three loads at least. We'll haul three loads and kind of see where we're at here for time. Uh, just because I do kind of want to try and stick to around the half hour uh, that I have stuck to in the past. So, you know, um, I've gotten feedback that uh, the half hour videos are kind of more perfect for most viewers. So probably stick around to those for the time being at least I do like this setup. I'm running this setup on uh, one of my other save games um, on Welker where I'm kind of starting out a little smaller and uh, really like this setup. I mean it's it's not a huge setup you know if we we're using like a big peat or something um, and you know one of the big trail big Wilson trailers uh, but it's not the you know, small little setup of a grain truck, uh, especially since the uh, Chevy grain truck I have doesn't work with the Farm King, um, or it doesn't really work with any of the augers really, um, so, and uh, the other grain truck mod that I have is kind of more of a, I guess it, it is kind of an old style truck, but at the same time it's, you know, a little bit new. Um, but I also like kind of running the truck with a hopper trailer on it so this setup kind of fits perfectly for this farm wait for the 
these cars to get by. Give us a free shot in here. See if we can get in here without hitting something this time. Alright, let's roll up on the scale here and get us a test weight. 57, 732 this time. The other thing I do like about this truck is having this back window, you can kind of see a little bit better out of it, so that's kind of always nice. Oh, we have scale in here, 57, 731. Let's just see if that actually drops while we unload or not. It doesn't appear to be dropping. Are we still selling? Oh, our price did go down a little bit, but I mean, that is that is what happens when you're dumping loads of grain. So it does kind of gradually go down, but this is still the higher price. Um... We only have the two places that take grain. We got one place that takes cotton. Um, one that takes eggs, one that takes wool, one that takes milk. So, and I do see that there's cornstalk windrow on here. So I'm wondering if uh, when... Uh, TXZAR was updating this map if he didn't add that into this map. Um, add corn stock bales into the map. I know that's something that a lot of people have been adding lately now. Uh, is corn and I believe soybean bales as well is another thing that people have been adding. So we got 2453, 24531. I think that's what uh, what we have before, but uh, like I was saying, that's that's kind of something that I've seen getting added more and more now is uh, the corn and soybean bales, um, which is kind of a neat feature to have. Uh, honestly, it's kind of nice to have something a little bit different. You know, the ability to bale corn and soybean straw. You know, if you want to, I guess, you know, use it for bedding kind of deal or mix it into your rations. But, um, I don't know if I've, well, no, I haven't uh, meant, made a video on it or mentioned it yet. But, uh, I did start on a new map project, um, based in North Dakota. Um, it, for anybody that is from North Dakota, it's little west of uh, the Grand Forks area it's based outside of a town called Wheatland North Dakota uh, so the map's name excuse me is uh, Wheatland Farms <coughs> oh. um, to you know kind of fit with the area um, it doesn't I don't have any terrain in it right now at the moment it is just flat kind of thinking about just keeping it that way because that part of the state is very very flat um, so kind of just thinking of keeping it that way um, but the fields are mapped out to be realistic uh, to that area um, but that map I plan on incorporating corn and soybean bales into it and scripting them so that way you know they do function with the cattle as you know another fill type that you can give them uh, in replace of just regular straw um, I plan on adding alfalfa to that um, another thing I've been seeing is people have started adding anhydrous as a fill type um, I would probably incorporate that on there for the side or for the uh, toolbars, for the anhydrous toolbar mods that are out um, in Expendables modding on Facebook. Um, 
probably would set anhydrous up on the map. I plan on putting alfalfa in there, uh, sorghum as another crop that you can uh, plant. Um, I mean, sorghum isn't really something that you see done around here, but it is a crop that I like doing. You know, I enjoyed that in 17, so uh, I do want to incorporate that in and whatnot. So, um, and then I plan on having farm, you know, multiple farms throughout the map. You know, you can kind of start, you know, the home farm. You'll kind of start off a little bit smaller. Um, You know, not, you know, probably about the size that we're running right here. Uh, or so, maybe a little bit bigger with the size of most of the fields on the map. But uh, it will be seasons ready and all that. Um, I most likely won't be releasing it though. Um, if you've been around on my channel for a while, you know, you know, my reasoning behind not being too keen on releasing anything. Um, if you're new um, or just don't remember uh, it's just with the way the community is now um, I just I don't feel like putting my work out there and having it hacked apart and um, having it ruined or anything like that and it's you know there's a lot of that nowadays in the community and it's, you know I'll stick to doing my work for myself because, I mean, I do it my way. You know, I make it how I want it to be. Uh, you know, like this map. The farms are going to be set up how I want them. And that's how it's going to go. You know, the starting equipment is going to be stuff that I currently have in my mods folder. You know, currently in my game. So, you know, it'll I'll get everything scripted. So that way, you know, the equipment that I want to start with is the equipment that it starts out with. I don't have to go in and sell all the standard equipment and all that, you know, fun crap and then go through buying all my equipment that I do want, driving it all to the farm, parking everything the way that I want before I can even start playing on the save game. And, you know, that's one thing that always sucks about starting a new save game is that aspect of having to take everything to the farm and all of that yet you know having to figure out how what I want to start out with before I can even do anything uh, I mean I guess if I really wanted to I could just use what I'm given at starting but let's be honest here how many people actually play with the equipment that a save game starts them with I mean most of the times on the save games I just screw around on you know I'll I'll go in, I'll sell all the equipment, and then I'll, you know, give myself a few million dollars, buy all the equipment that I want, and then start farming. Um, you know, on this save game, I didn't have to worry about that. Um, you know, all the equipment that we have right now, I was able to afford just selling, you know, our, our selling off our starting equipment. I mean, then obviously, you know, I did have to take out a loan. Uh, for buying fields and I think a couple pieces of machinery but really I didn't have to um, you know do a whole lot and I mean I kind of want to play this save game as legitimately as possible so um, I wanted to see what I could afford buying without having to cheat in money you know and I was hoping to avoid having to take out a loan but Obviously, with machinery prices, that just wasn't able to happen. So we do owe the bank at the moment 450,000. So um, you know we we owe them a little bit, but so far we made 80 thousand dollars, and this is only our third load of corn. pop out here quick see where we're at we're at about 25 minutes so I think we'll probably take this back and we'll uh, get it loaded and maybe we'll do
do one more load here uh, before we call it a video. So I want to see something on this building here. It's got this downspout out here. I'm wondering if it's not. No, okay. Um, I've seen this building on other maps where it was scripted for a specific purpose. Um, you know, where you could buy basically f feed for your cattle. And then another thing that I do want to look into getting into as well here. Um, so we've got a fermenting silo here um, in the global company. So we might get that um, down the road if we get into potatoes. We could always get a potato washer. Um, you know, if really wanted to. But uh, the biggest thing I want to get into here is the seed maker. Uh, eventually, um, with this, you know, you can put, uh, as it shows, you put wheat or I believe that's barley, barley or oat, one of the two, and then you put uh, herbicide in there and it turns it into grain. And then we do also have this uh, grain dryer, um, you know, which we could use for corn in the future. But the only downside is, is that I currently don't have anything to fill it with. I've tried all of the trailers that I currently have that hold diesel and um, not one of them will empty into it. I have seen pictures of someone else using it and uh, they had a tanker um, which I've, I know it was released, I've seen it, I just, you know, a fuel tanker, didn't think I really needed it because I don't run big enough operations usually on maps to where I need a tanker for my fuel. You know, I usually just use the, uh, um, um, Thunder Creek trailer, or if I'm, you know, for the sole purpose of hauling to, like, on some of my save games, I have the same storage tanks for fuel and def and, uh, herbicide and liquid fertilizer as I do on here, and on those I usually, um, you know, usually I have uh, something, you know, I usually have a tank that I'll use to just haul it from a gas station to the storage tanks, but, you know, normally that's about the only use I really have for it, otherwise I use the Thunder Creek trailer for everything else, so. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's usually how I do it, but. So I think what we'll do is uh, today we'll we'll do one more load of corn here, and um, once we get done selling that load, then we'll probably call it a video. And then tomorrow we'll go ahead and we'll finish selling off everything, and uh, um, that'll be kind of our last video for the winter, and then. Uh, We'll have to kind of wait on spring so we can get some field work done. Because we got plenty of field work to do. We've got uh, all 12 of our fields to go over with our spreader and put lime down. And then we also got to go and uh, plow all that lime under and get everything cultivated. Uh, I mean, we could plow first. And then spread the lime and then just cultivate that lime into the ground. But I would rather go over everything with a plow or with the lime and then go over it with the plow and put everything under then. So we only got about another, once we get this load out of here, we'll only have another four or five loads. So we'll be able to get all that finished up uh, tomorrow. Alright, so yeah, we got another 4,900 bushels, so about another 4 or 5 loads, and we'll be done with uh, our grain. We'll go ahead and we'll close this tarp. Oh, I think I gotta be at the back end of the trailer to do that. Well, we got an auto tarp system in here, so. 
So I'll go ahead and we'll run this last load of the day to the elevator. Um, or of the video, I guess. But I'm just going to refer to it as the day. Um, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could uh, make it so that, you know, each real life day is a different day in farms in the game, but that would just kind of, I don't know, that would not really play out too well, I don't think. I mean, who knows, it could maybe work better than I think, but, uh, you know, really at the moment, I, I don't know, I'm not too crazy on that idea. I have known people to do that, or, you know, seen people do that in the past where, you know, every video is a different day, and they just have their season's length set, you know, pretty decent, but that's just not really my playing style. So I believe when I started this video, I think I only had about $14,000, uh, I think it's about what I was down to. And, uh, we are definitely a lot farther up from there now. I guess we can see how much exactly we've made. We made $101,609 so far. And we still have this load plus another probably four full loads and a partial load, I would guess. I thought uh, Grandpa had done a little more corn land last year, but uh, it seems like he must not have. So, I know he had sold most of his grain. He could have sold some of the corn too, I don't know. Uh, I still have yet to find those papers um, between, you know, getting contract signed for the corn that we did have in the bins plus you know trying to situate equipment situate you know legal documents and stuff like that um, for me taking over the farm I just haven't had a whole lot of time to look for the documents for seeing if he had any other contracts that he had fulfilled you know seeing what all he had sold um, still waiting to hear back as well from, um, his estate, see what all was there, see if, uh, you know, there's anything there that I might be getting that I don't know about, whether that he had some money set aside for the farm, or, um, if he had another farmyard somewhere. Um, you know, if he had, you know, oh, I don't know if he had the camper in there, anything really, um, that we can find, you know, we're just kind of waiting to hear back on that info, so hopefully we hear something back in the next couple days. Um, I mean, I know he had been talking about the plan of putting up the cow and pig barns and uh, going and buying the equipment for that so I mean it's hard to say he could have had money set aside he could have had deals lined up for that it's really hard to know so I guess uh, like I said I guess time will tell on that so but uh, we shall see so get this load unloaded here. Alright. Another 33,800. So everybody, I think that is going to do it for today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this truck back. Get it another load loaded up. And then uh, by that time we should be probably seeing you in the next video. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, call it a day here for this video at least and uh, we'll 
head back to the farm. I'll get this loaded up, and then I'll uh, probably start tomorrow's video right away as well. So that's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. And as always, be sure to check out down below. Find out all kinds of stuff down there. I got PC specs down there, as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels, uh, which that will be getting revised here in the near future, um, as there are a lot of other good channels out there now. Um, but uh, yeah, so thanks everybody for watching, and uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.